Hey team, thank you for joining us. It is Tuesday, August 9th. I'm Amy Kaur and I'm joined by Kevin Van Eck. And yes, we are together again, back in live in the Goose Island office. So thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, so we were both at Inman last week and it was an amazing week filled with lots of great information and great insight. So grab your warm cup of coffee because we're gonna jump in and talk about it on this next episode of Coffee with Amy and Kevin. Yeah, really quickly as a tee up. Hi, Amy. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, so we're gonna talk about what we learned at Inman. Now there was a lot. There was a lot to learn and a lot to take in. There was some fluff, but there was also some good takeaways. So today that's really what we're gonna cover. We're gonna cover, let's call it four things that we think you need to know whether you were at Inman or not, and you can take away and put it into your business. That's right. So I wrote down in my notebook, and I have it here actually on my card, three key words that I felt were the overarching sense of the entire week. And that was flourish, grow, and innovate. And essentially what it means is that so many people were seeing this as an amazing opportunity for businesses and individuals to really flourish in this changing market. It was a great opportunity to figure out growth strategies. And then there was a lot of talk about innovation, technology innovation, ways of doing business differently. And again, not just on the brokerage level, but down to the agent level. And I would say the one thing too is that the biggest message I got as a takeaway was that right now everyone, and I know we talk about this a lot, mm -hmm. but that across the country, agents that were there, people who were on the panels, all talked about this shifting market and really truly saying that they felt that this was the greatest opportunity for agent growth in these next two to five years as the market is shifting, as interest rates are going up, going down, going up again, mm -hmm. uh, as we're trying to balance out this supply and demand issues and all of these markets, that really it is going to be a, uh, a situation of value, upping your game and what are you offering the consumer? So, you know, I think as all of us are sitting here and maybe some of us are nervous about where this market is going to take us, we really want you to lean in and think about the idea that this could be the greatest growth opportunity right now for you if you start thinking about how you can flourish, how you can grow, and maybe how you can innovate. Yeah, it's super interesting, right? One of the headlines that came actually out of Thad Wong with That Properties Christie's International Real Estate was that he was hoping for a downturn. Mm -hmm. Caught a lot of flack for that phrase. Now, just to clarify how it ties into this is that he's not hoping that anyone makes less money. But how it ties into us is that we have the opportunity to grab market share. And if you look at your market and how many agents got into the business over the last number of years that aren't producing or are doing one, two, or three transactions, this market's going to clear them out and that's going to open up more market share for everybody. So the other people that are competing for market share are the disruptors, the companies, the iBuyers, and you might have them in your market. We know Zillow shut down their uh, iBuying program last year, but one of the people that was on stage, one of our favorite people, Mike Del Preti, talked about how the companies are coming for your commission. All of the big, uh, the big money companies, they're hedging that they're going to take commission from you and mm -hmm. cut you out of the industry so that they can start to take their own market share. And a good example of this that he used was that while Zillow shut down their iBuying program, Opendoor just partnered with Zillow. So now on Zillow, it's gonna be a possibility for your clients to click a button while they're looking at their Zestimate, click a button and request an offer from Opendoor, cutting you out of the deal entirely. So with this sort of noise going on out there, it's really important that we do do exactly what Amy was saying, which is flourish, grow, and innovate. It's taking advantage of what's happening in the market, <laughs> grabbing as much market share as possible, differentiating yourself, and doing the next two things we're gonna talk about as well. Yeah, and I think it's also not freaking out about hearing what Open Door is doing and the idea that they're trying to push agents out. The more you know about that, then the better you can prepare to help sure. your clients understand what that means if they do go through that process, that they don't really have representation, that they are going to be working kind of on their own. So don't, I wouldn't be afraid by a lot of these disruptors. The biggest thing you could do is read, learn, and understand mm -hmm. what they're trying to do so that when you articulate your value, you make sure a consumer understands that's why they need you that much more. And and so I'm going to dive into also what I saw a lot of on these panels. Again, kind of the same messaging across the board, people dialing into their CRM. That three-letter acronym came up more times at Inman than I think I say it myself during coaching and training. But it's true. And, you know, <laughs> and the idea is that, you know, agents are really feeling like this 
the way to survive is to really dive hard into relationships. You can buy leads, that is definitely an option in a program, but I'm talking mega producers, people who have now teams that they've developed over time. They're teaching their team members how to learn how to build their own CRM because they see that as the greatest chance of success, not just for them as a team leader, but for their own new agents that are coming into the market. So keep that in mind, you know, as we're looking at where are we going to flourish over time and grow, I really still believe it's doubling down on your database. The other thing that I got from a lot of this messaging, and they're almost giddy about, is the idea that as the market slows, people are going to freak out, agents are going to get scared, and they're going to do what is very natural, which is pull back from expenses. So they're going to pull back and not do as much marketing. They're going to pull back from you know client gifting that they're doing. And a lot of these agents say, well, that's kind of the natural tendency for some, they're actually going to be doubling down. They're going to be making sure that they're still doing everything they've already been and maybe even harnessing some new ideas to take opportunity from those who do pull back. So CRM and doubling down on your marketing efforts were those big messages that I got from a lot of these big, big agents on the stage. Yeah, and the last thing, I mean, there were many, right? But the last thing that we're gonna talk about today was innovation. Mm -hmm. And it's what you said at the beginning. A lot of times we think about innovation when it comes to tech, but it also comes to your process, the way you work, the way you operate with your clients, and also the way that you continue that relationship that you were talking about, Amy. Because that's the one thing that Open Door and these other disruptors don't have. They don't have a relationship with your people. Mm -hmm. You have the ability to see them, to communicate with them, to make them feel like you care about them. So when we talk about innovating, let's talk about a couple of things. One is we know brokerages are investing in different programs and systems. We're certainly doing it at the brokerages and affiliates we work with, but you can do that at the agent level. And it doesn't mean going out and buying a big, you know, $1,200 a month CRM or other system. What it does mean is look at what you're doing and how you can improve. Look at the processes. How can you make it more seamless for a consumer? That's part of the allure of the disruptors is that they promise to make it seamless, easy, communication is clear, and uh, it, that's one of, the, one of the value propositions. You can do that too. So look at your processes, make sure it's seamless. The second piece is the tech. If you have tech, whether it's provided by your brokerage or otherwise, make sure you're using it to differentiate yourself. Make sure you're using it to, uh, to control the communication that's going to your clients during the transaction. Make sure you're using everything at your disposal. So it doesn't mean investing huge amounts of money in these crazy Star Wars ideas. It does mean improving and creating innovation within your processes and within with, uh, what you're using in an intelligent, thoughtful way. So you can elevate yourself above those agents that aren't investing in marketing, that aren't innovating. Yeah, I mean, there was so much that we learned and saw at Inman. It was a great experience, but you can check a lot of it out at Inman.com. If you've got a member, they send lots of articles. It's just a great resource for you to be at the pulse of what's happening, not just in your hyper-local market, but nationally. So a great opportunity to learn more. Uh, we had a great time, felt like we had some great tips that we got. Hope you can get a little bit from what we gleaned and you want, should make it a great day. You should, you make, should it make it a great day. Yes, make it a great day. Make it a great Tuesday. And until we see you next week, remember, you got this.